Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the World of Juice Hoops channel, and welcome back to another part in the Mamba Moments mini series. Last time we took a look at 62 in 3, which was part number four of the Mamba Moments. We got all of the challenges done, all three stars. We are 12 out of 21, with as you can see, three parts left, including this one. So today's one is part number five scoring machine, regular season March 16th, 2007. This game is the second highest scoring game of Kobe's career, launching the start of a four game, 50 plus point streak by the Mamba, who slip, simply willed the Lakers to victory. So that's our recap of the game, or a little description of what's gonna happen. To get one star, we have to win the game. To get two stars, we have to get win the game and score 65 points and shoot at least 50% from the field. And to earn that ever elusive third star, we have to do all the stuff previous, plus holding Brandon Roy under 15 points and getting three steals. So getting the three steals is going to be a little interesting, just like it was the last time against Michael Jordan. But holding Brandon Roy under 15 points should not be that difficult. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. But that is going to be part number five, the scoring machine. We're almost done with all seven parts of the Mamba moments. I can't believe it. We're already here. I told you it wasn't going to last very long. But here we go. Part number five, scoring machine here in the Mamba Moments. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club, and let's get started. Here comes Kobe, a little off balance, but it trips inside, and one. Kobe Bryant just carrying this team. Hold him over to Kobe. Bryant, a clutch three. The Lakers within one. Come on now. What can he do? Lakers down three. Kobe right here, trying for the tie. Good! Welcome to the Kobe Show. Brian in the corner, draws the double over and Roy over both. It's in for 63! Come on! The defense has not been able to find an answer for him. Ooh. Talk about taking over. He's been special. This is one for the ages. It's a 65-point game for Kobe Bryant, the second-best scoring performance of his career. Seven consecutive losses, injuries, slipping in the standings. Nothing is going right for the Lakers. Will Kobe and company finally get a win tonight, or will the Blazers add to the Lakers' misery? Dusk in the City of Angels. Just a fantastic day here in Los Angeles. Good evening, everyone, from Southern California. It's the Staples Center, filled to capacity. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Mike Brigello and Clark Kellogg. This proud Lakers team and fan base, my goodness, they have seen a lot of losing of late, Mike Brigello. What is going on? And they're not used to this. Phil Jackson is on his first ever seven-game losing streak. The Lakers losing by 25 in back-to-back -back games, first time in franchise history. L.A. is normally in the title mix. Right now, they're just hoping to make the playoffs. And, Coach, we know the Lakers getting in very early this morning from Denver. So, Clark, this is a beat-up team that is in a desperate state to win. Exactly. They are tired, and they're struggling. But they have one thing going for them, Kobe Bryant. It's been another stellar season for Kobe, and tonight will be a huge test for him. Let's see if Bryant can will this team to victory. Right now, the starting five for Coach Nate McMillan and his very young Trailblazer team. Rookie of the Year frontrunner Brandon Roy is at the two with Jared Jack at the point. Ime Udoka and leading scorer Zach Randolph are the forwards. And the second overall pick of the draft, LaMarcus Aldridge is the center. And for the struggling Laker team and coach Phil Jackson, they're five. They guard Smoosh Parker go. and the all-NBA force, Kobe Bryant. Sasha. All right, Kobe Locke is on, and here we go. We've got to hold Brandon Roy under 15 points, I'm pretty sure is what it was. we got to gain three steals, which is going to be a little bit difficult, but maybe with a little swipe or no swiping action, oh, that's not a good start. That is not a good start for Kobe Bean Bryant right there. Getting a reach and foul in the first 30, not even 30 seconds of the game. First 20 seconds of the game. Not a good start. Holding Brandon Roy shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, we held Michael Jordan, so. 
Brandon Roy shouldn't be much more difficult unless he's shooting shots like that. That was a good shot from, from Brandon Roy. Okay, so maybe it will be a little difficult. It's going to be quite the challenge here. But, I mean, getting our points. We need to score 65 points, shoot at least 50% from the field. So not just uh, from the three-point line, just 50% from the field. So I'm assuming I'm going to be able to do that. I usually am pretty good from doing that, especially when I'm not having to take stupid shots because usually I'll take stupid shots just to, to kind of keep the the game moving along. But this time, I'll, since I actually have to be smart, I won't be taking stupid shots. And I will be going to the basket to shoot shots like that, and that's okay. That, that might be considered a stupid shot. That's 67% or 66%. And Brandon Roy got himself a bucket as well, so. We are in a little bit of a predicament to start this game but that's okay we can work it out we're the we're the mamba we are the mamba mentality i need to go back and look at the replay that that could be the thummy give me the little thumbnail action there where's mamba there he is let me lock on him get a little scoring machine action and he held it oh look at that he held it the disrespect doctor disrespect out here can I go up? Can I can I zoom up? There we go. There we go. The camera thing function in this game is a little finicky. But if I could just move up slightly to about like that, I guess. A little bit higher. Like that. That's fine. All right. There's your thumbnail, most likely, <laughs> for scoring machine. Okay. Eight points for Mamba. Was that counted as a three? That might have been counted as a three. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't think I was at a three-point line. But Brandon Roy's already got uh, four points, so he only needs 15. Zach Randolph. Oh, step back. No good. Rebound Kobe. How are we going to get these three steals? That's the that's the question. Oh, behind the back. That was disgusting. How are we going to get these three steals? That's always the question that I'm thinking about. I'll probably have to do them during the time that you guys aren't looking. Although, that's a second foul. Kobe, I can't be having that. Two fouls on my only two. I've only attempted two swipes, and I've already got two reach-ins. Okay, we are in a little bit of danger with the steel market there. A little bit of danger. Brandon Roy, up. No good. Get the rebound. Don't let Brandon Roy get that. Thank you. Kobe, that's going to be Buckets. Buckets, 12 points for the bean. Three minutes to go in the quarter. Brandon Roy, I'm, I'm scared now because I got two reach-ins. I'm scared to reach into the reach into the honeypot. But that's a six-point game for Brandon Roy so far. He's got all their points. I'm just hoping that when a timeout is called, Brandon Roy is not in the game any longer. And we can uh, not have to worry about him scoring. He's trying to keep pace with me. He can't keep pace with Kobe. It's just, you don't want to get into a scoring shootout with Kobe Bean Bryant. Mamba's not going to let you have the win there. Go around him. Oh, Brandon Roy. How did he make that, Brandon? Why are you the GOAT? He's at eight points. We need him to have f under 15. Oh, I'm in a little bit of danger. Baseline. Buckets. Easy. Easy does it. How am I going to get this? How am I going to score three steals and keep Brandon Roy from getting his points? That could be one. Oh, I read that perfectly. I read that perfectly. I just didn't get my hand up in time. Don't let him get that. That's a miss. That's a miss. That's a miss. Thank God. He can't be going every single time down the court and scoring. It's not conducive for my health. That's a nice bucket, though. 18-8. to eight. Two minutes to go in the game. How are we going to get this last steal? Okay, please take Brandon Roy out of the ballgame. We need him to come out. We need Brandon Roy to sit down. Sit him down, please. Sit him down, please. Please have Brandon Roy not in the game anymore. Please have Brandon Roy not in the game the ball game do i see him out there i do see him out there he's out there all right so they didn't listen to me did not listen to me whatsoever 
Did I expect them to? Probably not. He's got the ball, and he destroyed me on his defense there, and he's going to the basket. Brandon Roy has 10 points. He has all 10 of the points. He needs to be held under 15. Why is this harder to hold Brandon Roy under, under 15 than it was to hold Jordan under whatever we need to hold Jordan under? That's a little crazy, if you ask me. Aldridge has the ball. I'm watching. I'm watching. Prepared to steal. To the basket. LaMarcus Aldridge. Didn't get the rebound. Kobe. Set his feet. Fire. That's going to be a miss because I, I didn't hit the release very well. So now we have 81%. Okay. 81% from the field. Help defense on Jared Jack. Let's play tight coverage on Brandon Roy. That's mine. Oh, did they count that? I don't think they counted that. At least he missed that shot, too. Did they count that as a steal? No, they didn't. That would have been nice. I'm just going to shoot this in your face. <laughs> Suck it. Sakato. 23 points, two rebounds for the Mamba. How am I going to get those three steals, and how are we going to hold Brandon Roy under 15 points when he's got 10 in the first quarter? That is a question, a couple questions that I don't have the answer to as of right now. I thought for sure they were passing to Brandon Roy. And now they are, and he's got that up, and he's got it no good. Thank baby Jesus. That's a miss. Oh, it's an in. I thought that it wasn't good enough release, but it was. 25 points for Kobe. 25 point alones for Kobe. And Brandon Roy just muscling his way down the court. I'm not trying to get any more reach-ins. He faked me out, but that's a steal. But it's not my steal. It's a steal, but not my steal. I don't even know who I'm covering here. I'm covering LaMarcus Aldridge. That's Brandon Roy. Play defense on him, please. Miss. Yes. All right. The end of the first quarter, 25 to 10, but Brandon Roy has all 10 points, and we have zero, count them, zero steals. This is going to be quite the interesting couple quarters, but I will see you guys in the fourth. All right, we are back under a minute to go, and as you can see, I've clearly gotten the 60 points or whatever we needed to get. Uh, but let's take a look at the pause here. We needed to score 65 points. We've scored 118. We needed to shoot at least 50% from the field. We've shot 85.7%. We needed to hold Brandon Roy under 15 points. Currently, he has nine and uh, get three steals. We have gotten three steals. Now, I do want to say something. I want to have full transparency with you guys. I had to restart. <laughs> I accidentally fouled out when I was trying to get those steals because I was reaching in a little bit too much, and I uh, I kept getting I kept getting reaching fouls. So I accidentally fouled out with Kobe. So I did have to restart. That's why Brandon Roy only has nine points when I think the first time we initially did this he had uh, ten or eleven or something like that. So yeah, that's that's one of the reasons why the Brandon Roy stat line isn't the same as what it was when you saw it in the first quarter, but not that I only restarted one time. <laughs> I was able to get the, the three steals and that's four steals. Now I was able to get the steals pretty easily the second time around. So we are able to finish this challenge the first time. I think I've ever had to restart for a uh, foul out. I don't think I've ever fouled out in one of these uh, like challenge. I didn't foul out at all during the, the Jordan challenge. And I, I don't think I ever fouled out before this with the Mamba moments, but we will get all three stars complete. We won the game. We scored 65 points or whatever it was. Obviously, we scored 122. <laughs> and then we got the three steals, shot the, per, the field per, uh, shooting percentage that we needed to shoot from the field, and we did the hold Brandon Roy under the, the points. So all of it has been completed. Now all we got to do is hopefully make it work. There it is. All three are done. Check, check, check. I just hope that it counts for me and it gives me all the stars. Because if you remember a couple of parts ago, it didn't. <laughs> it uh, didn't give me all the, the challenge stars. So I'm hoping that it does this time. And it does. 15 out of 21. You love to see it. We move on to part number six in the next episode. And that will be... A new era, 2008. 
Interesting. Is this going to have involve LeBron James? No, it's going to involve the Spurs. Western Conference Finals Game 5. Lakers and Spurs had an intense rivalry for a decade. Kobe scores incredible 39 points. And with first NBA Finals appearance in four years. Okay. So we will, in the next part, take on the San Antonio Spurs. Tim Duncan, Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker. No Kawhi Leonard yet, but still a good Spurs team in the Western Conference Finals. And we will hopefully go to the finals with Kobe. And I'm guessing that's what part number seven is going to be. It's going to be winning Kobe's last championship that he won in 2010, I'm thinking. I think is that one when he won it with Powell and all them guys. I think that was 2010 he did that. Maybe 2009. I can't remember exactly. It was one of those years. But that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Juice Club. We are close to finishing up the Kobe Mamba Moments Challenge. I hope you guys are excited for the end. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.